I'm Maria Holmberg, and I'm the Sales and Marketing Manager of Inify Laboratories. Today, I will be your guide to what we believe the future of pathology will look like. And I will also introduce you to some of my amazing colleagues who will talk about their areas of expertise. And in the background, you will also get a sneak peek of a brand new laboratory that will open up during the first half of 2023. Let's go. It has been almost exactly one year since we last had a webinar together with the pathologist. At that time, we were part of another company, Context Vision, and we spoke about what effect our CE marked AI based decision support tool, Inify Prostate, had on the performance of three independent pathologists. Spoiler alert, it was good. It showed that accuracy and specificity increased significantly, and concordance increased as well. But since then, the pathology branch of Context Vision has become an independent company, Inify Laboratories. And in fact, today we're here to talk about something completely different, and I will give you a short background to why. Context Vision had been working on digital pathology for about five years, and we had a product that was both C-marked and that we were really proud of. But still, we saw that there were quite some obstacles to make a true difference and incorporate it into the clinical workflow. The reality was a complex one. Even though we had excellent results on predicting on different scanner images, and we were also adhering to different standards such as HL7 for integration to adjacent systems, there were so many variations in all steps that it was challenging to get to that true impact. To cut a long story short, we realized that we needed to think differently to meet the unquestionable need to work smarter and to manage the ever-increasing workload as cancer incidence is going up all over the world. So we actually decided to take full control over the pathology step in the diagnostics process and build a completely new digital histopathology lab from scratch. We are just moving into our premises and we will be ready to receive prostate biopsy samples in the second quarter of 2023. With our own lab, we can optimize the lab work and continuously feed our AI with quality controlled images. This will enable continuous improvements of our algorithms and thus of our diagnostics. Our premises are tailor-made for our operations. It has a unique design and will have lots of smart solutions, not only within IT, but also in the way that we have organized us in the building itself, as well as with the test kits that we will provide to the urologists using our service. We have had the immense opportunity to select top modern equipment that works very well together and that will support our digital workflow. Naturally, our powerful AI will support the pathologist's work, as well as our IT tools that support not only the pathologists, but also the lab staff and the urologists and their staff placing requests for a service. A unique aspect that will have an effect both on quality and speed is the fact that we will specialize 100% on selected cancer types. Initially, we will work only on prostate biopsies. And as we move ahead and choose to add more indications, we have no lower ambition than to be the best in the world doing it. But what does a pathologist say about all this? Well, let's check in with our chief medical officer, Dr. Klaus Lind. Klaus has been working as a pathologist for the last 14 years at the Karolinska University Hospital, and he has also lately had the responsibility to quality assure the prostate biopsies here in the Stockholm region. In addition, he has a PhD in prostate cancer pathology. Over to you, Klaus. Thanks for the introduction, Maria. My name is Klaus Lind. I'm a pathologist and chief medical officer at Inify Laboratories. Inify Laboratories was created to increase efficiency and precision in pathology by applying artificial intelligence and digital tools to routine histopathology. As you who tune into this webinar today are probably aware of, an aging population and rising incidence in cancer increases demands for pathology services. Improved treatment options, the advent of precision medicine, and efforts to detect cancer early means that we must provide subspecialized pathology with high degree of accuracy while at the same time 
handling increased number of samples with short turnaround times. At the same time, we have a global shortage of pathologists. Something I often thought about during my career is how we can achieve diagnostics that is both precise and effective. Oftentimes, cases that have been diagnosed at centers with high workloads and quick turnaround times needs to be re-reviewed at other medical centers in second opinion programs to ensure precision and consistency. There is simply a limit to how fast our eyes and brain can work, as well as our attention span. This is where AI and new digital tools come in. These digital technologies can simplify many of the steps in traditional histopathology and can give us, the pathologists, the chance to focus on the really critical diagnostic decisions. As a pathologist, I would say that this will make our work more interesting. It will reduce work-related stress, and in the end, it will make us more confident diagnosticians. And it's not just about speed and tools, it's also about diagnostic quality. By using state-of-the-art AI, our pathologists diagnose with higher precision and confidence. By increasing diagnostic precision, we will decrease variation between pathologists in, for example, tumor grading, something that is essential to improve clinical management of cancer patients. So, how will this work? Well, the clinic, and this could be a urology clinic or a pathology lab, places their request with us. Our logistics service picks them up and brings them to our lab. There, they are registered and the samples are prepared and digitalized in our standardized laboratory process. After this, our powerful AI makes its prediction. So, when I sit down to review the case, I can see all the predictions done by the AI and also in our synoptic pathology report, many of the parameters are already pre-filled by the compute system and this is a real time saver. So if I want to make any changes in any parameters, for example, tumor grade or tumor length, these changes will automatically be updated in the report, thereby minimizing the risk for typos. This approach will improve the everyday work life for us, the pathologists. It will save us a lot of time and it will give us a very effective workflow. After I sign out the case, the report is sent to the referring clinician and we also automatically send required information to the National Cancer Registry. Sometimes it will not be me or any of INFI's internal pathologists making the diagnosis. It is also possible for external pathologists to work within our digital environment making the diagnosis, as long as they are certified for the system. An example of this could be a pathology department that is not yet digital, but who wants to take the chance to go digital overnight for their prostate biopsies using our system. It could also be that we collaborate with a urologist who has a tight connection with the pathologist and wants to keep it, while still getting all the advantages of our image quality and AI, and also from our visual report. We will make sure the report is easy to read, both in terms of layout and terminology. It should simply be easy for the urologist to make his or her treatment decision based on our report. So far, we have had incredible response from urologists for our report. This is not science fiction. This will be my reality when the lab opens in 2023. Creating value for all patients is the core of our company. By creating an environment where AI researchers and computer scientists work side by side with experienced pathologists and laboratory staff, we aim at creating a new standard in histopathology, characterized by efficiency, precision, and reliability. And this cross-professional teamwork is something that I really appreciate here at Inify Laboratories. The future of pathology is digital. We are making the future happen at Inify Laboratories. Thanks, Klaus, for sharing the perspective of what a pathologist thinks about working with all of this. As I'm sure many of you are already aware of, 
image quality and hence the AI is strongly affected by all steps of the sample preparation process. So let's take a closer look at that. To do that, I have asked our product manager, Christian Uren, to assist. Hi, my name is Christian Uren, and I'm the product manager for Inify Laboratories. Artificial intelligence and deep learning are fantastic new instruments to generate good image analysis tools for pathology. So the techniques themselves are well established and straightforward to use. The difficult part is data for training and testing. A lot of the diagnosis in pathology is subjective, for example, staging and grading of cancer. And the variation between pathologies is natural and well known. What is less known is that a big part of the variation is also due to variation in image quality. As long as pathology was done in a microscope, it was difficult to compare and evaluate stainings between hospitals and over time. We have collected images from more than 40 hospitals around the world, and I would say that no one looks the same. The preparation of a histological slide is a quite complicated process, and every step will affect the end result. After a sample is taken from the patient, the tissue will be fixed, dehydrated, embedded, sectioned, rehydrated, stained, mounted, scanned, and visualized on the monitor. Each step can be done a little different with different chemicals, resulting in a huge variation in quality and color. We have noticed that our algorithm will behave a little bit different due to the stainings, but the biggest challenge is that the differences we see in staining will also give differences in the annotations we get from the pathologist. This makes it very complicated for us to establish a ground truth for training and testing of the algorithm. So I'm very excited about the lab we are building at Unify. Our aim is to take full control of all the steps in the production of an image. And in the end, the pathologist that works for us, they will diagnose on the same stainings and monitor settings every day, every week, every year. We are building a special software to control image quality. And we will monitor every step in the process with our LIS system in order to troubleshoot and control every step in the preparation of the image. The patient material we will generate over time will be a fantastic material for clinical research. So we are convinced that we will deliver a better algorithm, better concordance between our pathologists, and in the end, less variation in the diagnosis. Thanks, Christian, for those insights into what the controlled process can bring. In just a short while, Klaus will be with you at the Q&A session. These were some glimpses into how we foresee the paradigm shift of moving pathology into the digital world and having AI as its companion. So please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you want to know more, and we hope that you will follow us on our journey.